Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to tumble. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Immediately, I close my eyes. I don't know why. Whatever. <clears throat> Victim, why are you doing this? Patrick Bateman, I guess you could call me an American psycho. Psycho. Wow, I really it, it fucked it up. I have not watched that movie. This is my best approximation of the plot. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Fact, that is it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Some of y'all want melt in this situation. What has to go? Either the ancient scroll, the page boy, blood magic, I am mute, orb, or owl cat. <laughs> what has to go? Ancient scroll, page boy, blood magic, I am mute, orb, or owl cat. Page boy. Twink obliterated. <clears throat> There's nothing exciting about good solid citizens. Show us some perverts. Me logging on to Tumblr. <clears throat> the Cha Cha slide in full metal armor. Slide to the left. Indescribable loud screeching of metal against asphalt. One off this time, clunk. Two off this time, clunk, clunk. Everybody clap your hands. Clank, 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 clank. I have an end-of-life patient to whom I spoke today. She felt herself laughing and said, It was all such fun. I just had so much fun. I wish this for everyone. I wish that we each would meet death, laughing with little regret and even less fear. It makes me smile every time I see someone or blog this post with commentary about how it made them happy or how or changed how they look at life and death. This little old lady had, had no idea how much warmth and comfort she brought to thousands. There's a pop popular brand in Canada called No Name Brand, and it manufactures everything you can imagine in a grocery store. And it kind of makes me feel like I'm in a world of no one bothered to do much world building for. Things that sure are. Things that are. <laughs> no names aim, 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 aim on any of these. This is peak design. Can't believe no one posted a chair for sitting. All for actually be like this, actually. It's just a chair that's for sitting. No name on it, just a chair. Someone finally did the XKCD. If I ever sold a line of supermarket goods, this is how I, I'd build a brand identity overnight. Literally. Oh dang, they already did it. I wanted to do that. Bro, you're interrupting my pacing around pointlessly yeah, and listening to music time. Can you not? As long as the locks hold, they can't get out. Key. Jeffrey, no! Lock. It's unlocked! They're free! Oh. Oh, no. Love these. <clears throat> hmm. 
Pluto isn't a planet. Fine. Dinosaurs had feathers. Fine. Neptune isn't a beautiful oceanic blue. It's actually the same washed out, disappointing color as Uranus. I will kill you with my bare hands. Original two color, orange green. NASA a JPL image from Voyager 2 with exaggerated color. Color recalibrated in 2016, Justin Cowork, preserving some enhancement for contrast. Color recalibrated in 2023, Patrick Erin, approximating true color. Fuck. You. Look how they massacred my boy! Oh, and if you thought Uranus was boring before, boy have I got news for you. Default Blender Ball. Wow. By the way, the weird noises I make are unrelated to me being a furry. I'm just like that. As you can probably tell by my avatar, I'm not a furry, but I do make some funny noises. And it has very little to do with the ears. If you say meow three times while looking at the mirror, I will appear and knock your things off the counter. Me. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name it, it Mao because that's the sound cats make? Now I am I am just imagining a very early Egyptian and catching a wild cat for the first time. Human. What the fuck are you? Meow. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I was cuddling with our boyfriend last night when his shoulders started uh, tensing up, like he was readjusting and gently pushing me off. When I asked him if he was okay hey, or need me to move or something, then he went, No, you're fine. I was just matching myself, holding a light rope. I didn't even realize my shoulder was doing that. <laughs> then refused to elaborate, and I've never been as, as attracted to him as I was in that moment. Icarus speaks. Apollo cameo. Okay, I'm lying a bit. He did a lab and said the rope was large in the sense that it was long. Not just an overly thick rope. But other than that, nothing. The inner workings of their mind are so beautiful. I would never understand, man. You hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it led because it is led by the treacherous Count Dooku. What? What? Wait, are they? Are cis people really led by Count Dooku? Who's Count Dooku? Me reading. Uh, another flashback chapter. I mean, it's not like I dislike this as all that much, but I'd really prefer to get back into the current events. I was really into the thing that was happening in the story. Me writing. Ooh, <laughs> yes, this will be a great. It's for another flashback. <laughs> this character remembers when they were a child and her mother sang this little song for them. <laughs> it's the only time they can ever remember having been held. Also, now I can do world building. Yeah, I think it works a lot better in like visual media, like Adventure Time or movies and TV shows in general. Like, I actually like the flashbacks in Adventure Time. Particularly, Simon and Marcy and like Obsidian had really good ones too. I enjoy adding, as one does, in parentheses after describing a strange thing to do. As one does. This has over 50,000 notes, somehow. I think a few of those are me, but still. Oh. I mean, uh, that's pretty expected. They're just leaving notes, as one does. <clears throat> Three components of world building. One, the author's kinks. Two, the author's power fantasy. Three, the author's political agenda. Plot and logic are optional. Oddly true. 
The thing about writing is that either it is the most peaceful and satisfying activity ever, or you're wandering about your home at 2.30am with your laptop on 3% battery, 25 plus tabs open, a cursor blinking away taunting your ineptitude as you try to remember what doorknobs are called. Or you're lying in a pit of darkness, not writing at all. Welcome to the poop realm. Do not touch anything. Don't tell me what to do. Fluffs to the ground. <laughs> Makes poop angels. What the fuck? This Tumblr feed is literally unhinged. The Drake Kedrick beef trending on Tumblr is like fighting out an isolated village in the middle of Siberia with no internet or television. And Axis knows who Michael Jackson is. Who? Kendrick isn't even and giving genius contributors time to use spell check. I'm reading this brutally in Old English. I'm reading this brutality in Old English. Sorry. Kendrick Lamar writes the Drake shit so hard, he's writing number two on the White Fujoshi website. What? Number one now? On the fangirl website? What the fuck? Kendrick Lamar may realize that there is an even stronger level of hater that I've yet to tap into. He actually made me question if I was even a real hater. I strive to be a hater like Kendrick. You're missing out on Drake's career going up in flames. Look up Kendrick Lamar's new diss track on Drake and you will never look at him the same. And again, are you saying that Prodigy and arguably the greatest lyricist alive, Kendrick Lamar of Two Pimp of Butterfly fame, was able to publicly humiliate pop rapper and child predator Drake? I'm shocked. Me watching and the a K Don and Drake beef implode on this is. Is White House, I like, when the fuck did y'all start caring? What the hell is a polar bear doing in Arlington, Texas? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Who wants to do this? What makes this even funnier to me is that it's a Skyline GTR. A car that was only made for the Japanese market, meaning it's right-hand drive, which means that if you want to go through a drive through that's made for left-hand drive cars, you would have to go in reverse in order to be on the side with the drive through a window. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, can I get a... Can I get my food now? Why the fuck are you driving in reverse? Taylor want on sheet metal. It's me, guy, not your buddy. It's me. I don't get it. American Middle School. Okay, for gym class today, we're going to learn how to square dance like a bunch of cowboys. The cooking monster pajama pants, white trash girl, and the most suicidal autistic boy will be going first. Wow. Is this just me, or is NASA weirdly aggressive in their article about black holes? Could a black hole destroy Earth? Black holes do not go around in space. It's eating stars, moons, and planets. Earth will not fall into a black hole. Only because no black hole is close enough to for the solar system for Earth to do that. Even a black hole on the same mass as the sun were to take place. If we were taking place of the sun, Earth would uh, still not fall in. The black hole would have the same gravity as the sun. Earth and the other planets would orbit the black hole as they a over the sun now. The sun will never turn into a black hole. The sun is not big enough to make a black hole. Can a black hole destroy the Earth? No, you idiot! Black holes aren't planet gluttons, you bitch! And Earth is a weak-ass planet that would just fall into a black hole like a sucker. 
And that dumbass sun that we've got isn't big enough to make like a black hole like other stars, you fool. God damn, NASA is pretty aggressive here. Remember that our good friend Jonathan Harker goes to Transylvania today. I do not know who that is, but thank you. People who celebrate time loop reset days are annoying. Pass it on. Fuck this post and happy Dracoloop. What the fuck is Dracoloop? Was it my good friend Jonathan Harker the best of luck on his journey? That took a minute. Oh god. How far are we in this video? Oh. <sighs> Come on. We can load. Okay, I should probably... Okay, it's loaded. Hawaiian shirts are formal wear. This isn't satire or anything. I ironically wear a Hawaiian shirt and khakis and khakis when I want to look nice. I did not say that right, but who cares? This is formal wear. The Sigray too. Is the Ray also formal wear? She hangs out on my I, rug. I was really hoping the Ray was secretly a hat. I need to learn how to turn her into a hat. Here are, are the a, other are two nice shirts I wear. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a bat? Oh my goodness. No idea if the second guy is Hawaiian, but I really like it. Is this me or is every image with a ray in it slightly hazy? My front camera sucks ass, and also in case you think you'll think I'm joking, I wore the shirt with the oranges when I visited the Evacuan Museums back in July. Okay. Why would you need formal wear to visit a museum? The Vatican is weird. Is that bad and pearls holding the oranges shirt? They aren't real pearls. So it's a real bat? No. I'm <laughs> track official. God damn. <sighs> oh, I love when it takes forever to load. Hang on. There we go. Hello! I greatly enjoyed the I like the bread meme back in the day. How's that even considered a meme? How's it doing? I haven't seen it in an age. I like the bread. Conservation status, conservation dependent. Classification, non-native, non-invasive. Maybe we'll all are surprised to learn that I like the bread is a meme native to Reddit, given its thorough integration into the Tumblr ecosystem. It also shares many characteristics with native names, such as, as its use of historical spelling conventions and poetic structures. This combination of whimsy and educational background are very common in, in native memes, which helps to explain the meme's success in the Tumblr ecosystem. Due to its requirement for bloggers to, compl to compose original poetry, the meme has a low reproductive rate. We're to get from out competing native memes and also contributing to mimetic diversity. I like the bread has dropped off in population since its initial boom after introduction. However, a small and dedicated group of bloggers who, like and on above, are fond of this meme have taken it upon themselves to maintain the viability of the I like the bread meme through a reverse hybridization program, and thanks to their efforts, this meme is still seen in the wild with some regularity. Meme conservation, I like the bread. Conservation dependent, non-native memes. Okay, for the last one. 
It's just something that we already, you know, we've already seen this. The 2010s were better. No, they weren't. Hey Soul Sister was on the radio. Stereo, the way you move, it ain't fair, you know. Anyway. That was assembling. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!